Hey Gemini, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 5th to the 6th of 2023. Alright, let's jump into it with an oracle card message for Gemini. Next 48 hours for Gemini, April 5th to the 6th of 2023 for Gemini. Alrighty, let's see what y'all got going on. I just saw a church. Mm. You could be driving by one or going to church. I don't know why I got it's a Catholic church specifically i got christian but put it put it where it goes for you doesn't matter it's a church we have black hound for boating yeah i'm seeing it look like this like an older looking church like it, it's a house or it used to be a house and i'm seeing a cross on top of it so i feel like catholic churches do that or you could be watching a movie and see that we have frog creativity mouse advantage and overall energy of stag premonition Maybe you had a dream about one. Mm. Yeah, but with uh, stag premonition, it's like a preconceived, you see something before it happens, pretty much. Yeah, and then black hound for boating. So you're getting multiple warnings about something that's coming towards you. There's going to be some type of creative advantage or creative offer that's coming towards you. Something to do with your hobbies, your inspirations, your artistic nature. You're going to get a leg up or there's going to be an offer that allows you to advance into something creative or to use your creativity to advance in the next 48. So let's go into the tarot and see what this is. So this reading is like a heads up or this could just be double confirmation for somebody. I'm getting bubble gum as well. You could be watching Adventure Time or Chewing Gum. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this has to do with work. Nine of Cups. Five of Pentacles. So someone wants to work with you on a project. I don't know if they abandoned you on a project at work or you abandoned them, but someone wants to work with you on a project. They feel left out and they want help. It's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two of Swords. I feel like this person, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna hold you back a little bit. They're not gonna like, you know, really mess you up because the Two of Swords isn't something like significant. It's like a slight block, a slight road bump. This is like you getting stuck in traffic. It's moving. It's just moving slow. Like this person, I feel like it would be better for you to work alone in the next forty-eight hours. Let me clarify this though. Let me see. Because this person is just a, they're a distraction. Sorry to say. Or they're going to distract you. This is the type of person who want to work with you. Then they cut on the TV and y'all sit there and don't get nothing done. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. It's the Hermit card Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have it highly aspected. I feel like you could just work from home or you're working on yourself. Yeah, I cut, I cut the deck and it's the Four of Wands. So I feel like you work from home. Or you're just doing some inner work, trusting yourself more. Knight of Cups. And then it's like an apology and an offer. So yeah, someone wants to work with you. So I definitely feel like it's a coworker. Or maybe you go to school and this person, I cut the deck and we have Justice, Libra, and the Four of Wands again. Clarifying the Knight of Cups is the Six of Swords. Or this person could work from home. And I feel like they could distract you while you're trying to work. But yeah, I feel like you're just letting go of this offer, this apology. You're like, nah, Five of Pentacles. Y'all could do the same thing for work or something. I just feel like this person wants help with their work. Because they feel left out in the cold. Clarifying the Five of Pentacles is the Chariot. Cancer. You could have physically traveled and this person feels left out. You could be moving to a new office, a new building. It could also be a cancer. I did get the King of Cups, Five of Swords. Yeah. Clarifying the King of Cups is the Three of Swords. Okay, so yeah, this person's heartbroken. It's a water sign. Ten of Swords. Overall, it's just seven of pentacles. Y'all could have been friends for a long time. This person feels very heartbroken and abandoned by you. Because I feel like you just, you decided to start working from home or to work elsewhere, separate from this person. 
by yourself. And this person, they're like, they want to work with you. But I feel like you're like, nah, you're just, you're a distraction. You're holding me back. But for whatever reason, you're like, no. And this person just feels left out. And they're trying really hard to work with you. This person may say something harsh out of spite too. Because they're, they're hurt. Five of swords, clarifying the five of pentacles. They're hurt by you leaving them. I also feel like another storyline is this person left you. They abandoned you. And now they want to come back and you're saying, no, you've let this go or you've already let this go. I feel like you, you're you accepting the apology. I don't see that you're like, you know, being mean or rude about it. You're accepting the apology. But you're like, I'm good. You're letting this go. I see you moving on and moving forward drastically or a lot faster without them. Or you, you work better alone and this person's heartbroken. Because I feel like you went through a cycle of toxicity with this person or this person. They constantly said negative things or the negative things were constantly being said about you or to you by this water sign. Of course, it could be any sign for you guys, but I just feel like this person is definitely in some watery energy. And their their emotions are all over the place. Like, you're going to see this person go through a, a weird range of emotion in the next 48 hours. Because, like, you're doing good. You're working by yourself. You're doing just fine. I feel like this person may tell you they've been working on their emotions or their emotional stability. They may call you and this person may even start crying. Because I feel like this person feels really deeply about the situation. Yes, yeah, like this person comes to you and apologizes and you're like, it's fine. I've already let go of the situation. And then they assume that things are just going to go back to normal, to how they were before, like nothing happened. And I feel like this could have happened years ago or this could happen a while ago or you just had not talked to this person in a while. And they expect things to just go back to how they were. And it's like you've changed or you've gotten accustomed to working by yourself. You're realizing that it's much better to work by yourself. The moment you let this go, things started to move drastically. Or you moved away or they moved away. And now they've come back and it's like, oh, I, I appreciate it. You know, no hard feelings. And then they expect you two to work together. And you're like, well, no, I, I'm doing this alone. I'd rather do this alone. Or you're like, that's just not how this is going to work. Yeah, I feel like you excel when you work by yourself. Yeah, you've moved on from this person leaving you behind. But it's like, they stay, for some reason, they keep holding their cup out. Or maybe if you, it doesn't matter, even if you left them. But I just feel like this person, you were good and this person left you and it's like, they just keep trying to apologize. But you've, and it's like, it's not even like you're not accepting it. You've accepted it. I don't see why they're still, they're just so heartbroken. They're the water sign that's just so heartbroken. I mean, the worst part of the situation is over. I feel like they may feel guilty about what they have said to you. Maybe you might have told this person off. But I feel like more so they're trying really hard for you not to leave them. I feel like I just said this for you. I think I said something similar to you in your last uh, Gemini reading. Yeah, this person, they just... In the next 48 hours, you're going to start seeing them break down and start crying. At first, they went from this aggressive banging on your door, and now they're just going to become an emotional mess. They're taking this very hard. And with the Ten of Swords, I feel like all their words are coming back to bite them. I feel like they had some harsh words for you, and you may have had some harsh words to say back to them. But now you're over it. I feel like this person is going to keep pressing you, and you finally let them have it. 
I feel like your harsh words might even be just, yeah, I'm just, I'm comfortable or more comfortable with doing this by myself. I'm doing way better by myself. And that could just hit this person hard. But I feel like with the Ten of Swords, clarifying the King of Cups, they've done so much and they're heartbroken. I just feel like they just can't accept that they caused this or that you're moving on without them. Yeah, because I feel like this is a long term. This was a long term investment. This person feels like this all went to waste. I feel like your ships are coming in. You are investing in something very stable, especially when it comes to career, or if you have a new relationship with a Virgo. I feel like there's a Cancer here who's hurt and upset by this, but you're dealing with a Virgo who's way more stable, and your ships are coming in while dealing with this person. You're getting much more like expansion and offers. And this person is unstable anyway. This other person with the Two of Swords, because this person, this pile is the blockage here. Two of Swords, Knight of Wands. Then you're getting Justice. Four of Wands. Like, King of Wands. Yeah. So just keep moving forward. Ignore this person's meltdown in the next 48 hours. For Gemini. I don't mess up for Gemini. Someone here is having a meltdown. And that's not your problem. Knife, intention, conflict, resolution. Yeah, this person keeps trying to resolve the conflict, but you're like, I'm over it. There's nothing to resolve. And then they keep apologizing. They just keep apologizing. It's like, I've let it go. Why do you keep apologizing? It's because they're apologizing because they're like, okay. If you accept my apology means you accepting me back into your life and allowing me to be back in the position I was before. No, that's not what that means. You think I just sat here on pause until you got back? Like, what's wrong with this person? <laughs> we have lantern, guidance, instinct, trust. People are weird. Like, people who don't realize that people have lives outside of them think that you're just sitting there. Like, if they leave your life, you're just going to sit there and wait for them to come back. Like, no, life goes on. This person is realizing that your life went on without them. Mushrooms, quiet, the quiet growth, the hidden peace. Overall energy is rabbit. Uh, waiting, adventure, making leaps. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.